Seems to me like all these guys need to get their ass beat. They need a real. They need to bow before the, a real leader when they see it. The real leader being me, of course. The Counter Strike button that comes up there reminds me of Batman and Spider-Man. I'm an assassin, fool. Oh, I'm just kicking his ass. He didn't even get a swing in there. Do you yield? Yield. Uh-oh. He brought a knife to a fist fight. Disarm, disarm, X. I was like, what do I do, what do I do? And then X is right on the screen. Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These four, we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Lol about? A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> Where's your knife back? I like this guy. Connor's dad is a cool you, guy. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Freaking badass. Good day. Return to the cabin to end your day. Return to the cabin I will. It's nice to see that the uh, parkour seems to run in everyone in Desmond's family. Everyone is about able to do crazy amounts of hardcore parkour. They can just do whatever. Climb anything and everything. Twenty eight days on the ocean. Damn. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. We're going to kill a lot of them. More than likely, I'm just saying. I don't mind killing people. I'm good at it. Don't get in my way, any of you. You'll all die pretty easily. Interact. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? 
try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. The doctor and the cooker must be little Miss Popular. Miss and Miss Popular. As in two people. Because I don't think they'd be the same person. Well, doctor, if you have a moment. And you take a lift. Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the You sound just like Jane. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley is your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. Speak with James. Now we can run, which is cool. That's very helpful. To get to places faster. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. After 28 no, days, you would you think want? everyone knew everyone. Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Look for clues at the stern. Damn, he, he could book. <laughs> I thought that coat held him back, but no. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Loch Ness Monster. Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Investigate the noise on the lower deck. Down the stairs. Which way was the cargo being thrown? From L3. Gold. Oh. Oh, right here. Okay. Clue. Got a raging clue right now. Some nice looking water. Return to your cabin to end the day. Then we're gonna flash forward to like day 273. Then you're just gonna be astonished at how they managed to live that long on a boat. With no extra supplies. That is some really nice looking water. Day 33. Only five days later. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! 
She's making ready to fire. Oh damn. Feet to quarters, men. Ready them. Brace. Everybody down. It's like we got a squabble in our hands. Another one. A warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons. Make ready to fight. I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? Wait a second, his mouth's not moving. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? What? <laughs> That's the strangest glitch I've ever seen. I didn't even comprehend that at Secure first. the hatch! Peyton. He's like talking? telekinetic. A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? You're a Templar. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Sure, this is how you want to play it. You're gonna lose, buddy. You're gonna lose your head and a lot more. You can tell he's a master with that thing. All right, buddy. Oh, oh, sword fight. Oh, gotcha. You're on the ground now, it's over. Oh, I can't strike him while he's on the ground. And he has a health bar. There's new things everywhere in this one. Relative to the other four or so. I think it's only been four. Might be wrong about that. Come on, stab him. And he's dead. He is dead as a doorknob. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. What? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. At least your mouth is moving again. You wish us to sail into the storm. It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. Later that day. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was bad. On yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. I'm not a master assassin. I didn't get to be a master assassin without fixing boats. Secure the rigging. That rigging is getting very secure right now. Let's get to the next one. Come on. Come on, Kenway. This is the moment to book. Come on. Secure the hanging. He's just going at that rope like it's nobody's business. One more, if the, if the rule of three stands true, we'll be done after this one. We need more speed! Loose the sails! Hate them! You take the foremast! Jade! To the mainmast with you! 
and the rule of three range true again. Deploy the sail from the yard. I imagine we gotta go up here, climb it. And we gotta get up to that thing there. Then let the mast go. Whatever that means. Oh no! Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it.